Hey there, if you don't know me, my name is Maria and I like to make technology videos on the internet. And this weekend, I'm finally not going to a hackathon, I am not coding, I'm going to my second ever tech conference instead and I wanted to take you along so you can see what it's like. The event is called Harvard We Code and I was actually told about it by my friend Guadalupe who also has a YouTube channel that you should check out and she's really cool and she gave me a discount code so that's why I'm pretty like that's the reason why I'm going because it was cheaper so because yeah sometimes tech conferences cost a little bit of money I'm pretty sure it costs like ten dollars or something with a discount code it's pretty cool because it's the largest student run women in tech conference so that's pretty exciting and they have a lot of really cool speakers so I'm excited to go to all those events and it starts today on Saturday at 2 p.m. and it, I believe there are events going on until 8 p.m. and then tomorrow it starts again and they have like a career fair that I'm excited to go to and yeah they have a lot of people from many different companies and the keynote speaker is actually the CEO of the company Rent the Runway where you can like rent out like rent clothes instead of buying them but I think is a really cool idea and like I've heard of it so I'm like whoa so cool that they got this woman to be the present like the first speaker and there are a lot of people from different companies so yeah I'm excited and I also signed up for a mentorship session and this is being run on mostly hop in so they have like a main stage and they have multiple side stages so you might have like multiple events going on at the same time so you can go from one room to another and like check them out and there's also like this other platform that they're using called Sophia where you make an avatar and you're like walking around on a map so I think that's cute too so yeah going to go to some cool events and it's starting soon so yeah super excited I just listened to the keynote by Jennifer Hyman, who is the CEO of Rent the Runway. And it was actually so cool. Like I was like her story is just really like inspiring and motivational, I guess, because basically she started off, she went to business school in, at Harvard. And then while she was doing her MBA at Harvard, her younger sister was going to a wedding on some weekend. And then she had to buy a dress. So she bought this dress and it made her go into credit card debt. And then her older sister was like, what the F, why are you doing this? And then her younger sister said, but my closet is dead. And then that made her start thinking like, oh, like how, what if, what, like, what if we could change that? What if your closet was something that's alive? Like something that you could always change and it could change with you. Like one of the things she says is that your closet is your second most valuable thing in your home, or like area in your home, like after your garage, so like cars are expensive. So. Basically, her and her friend founded Rent the Runway in 2009 and they decided to make it like the first closet in the cloud and it's basically a financially savvy way for women to change up their wardrobes and basically change up their appearances uh, based off of subscriptions and right now they have things where you can buy the clothes as well. It was funny because they actually like cold emailed Diane von Furstenberg who's like a very famous designer and they got to meet with her and then this was before they even started their business so that's really cool just like hear about the, de the designer's point of view. So basically Rent the Runway solves two problems. So the customer problem and also the business or the designer's problem. Because D what Diane von Furstenberg said was that she wants younger women to fall in love with her brand in a more authentic way. So, you know, like wearing her clothes and being able to like have that opportunity in a cheaper way. So they did a lot of iteration and setting up pop-up shops to see if people would actually rent other people's clothes and if they would actually order things where you can't try it on so they did a lot of iterations of that and then they're actually a tech company obviously because they have thousands of employees and most of them are engineers or data scientists because they're essentially an app where it will customize to you and your style and how you change so that it can help you like choose what type of items you want in your subscription box and things like that i think that's pretty cool and it'll be a cool company to work at actually like now that i'm thinking about it because i really like fashion and that kind of stuff and also something really sweet that she said at the end was that you'll never be able to be great at something if you don't love it and also she did talk about imposter syndrome and she said when you think about it just ask yourself the question what's the worst thing that could actually happen so i think that's a good thing to keep in mind especially for me because i always have imposter syndrome I just got off the mentorship call with Tiffany from Facebook and there are two other girls who are also like in the tech field 
and it was really cool because we got to ask her a lot of questions and about her experience and her career path and she actually was telling us like she did computer science at Harvard and then she did two internships so one at Google working for YouTube and then another at Facebook and then she really liked Facebook so that's why she decided to go back there and work full-time and then when you work at Facebook or when you get in there as a full-time employee they have something called boot camp where it's like six weeks of you trying out different teams to see what you like and she actually worked at oculus so like the vr headset for two years and she was interested in like ai and machine learning and she had taken the course at like harvard for like introduction to machine learning which i'm interested in taking in my fourth year because we have one at my school as well she was interested in more applied machine learning so then after she were, was working at oculus for two years apparently they wanted to move from Menlo Park to LA and she didn't want to move. So she had to make the decision of going to a different team and figure out which team she wanted. And now she had a better idea of what she was looking for in her, the type of work she wanted to do. And she made this whole rubric of like the different things that she was looking for. And then she ranked like a few different teams that she talked to based off of those things. So some of them were like the type of projects. So she was interested in applied machine learning. So she ranked them like from one to five on how like interesting that project would be for her. And then also is it's like, what's the scale? Because more people means it's a more complex problem and it will be more interesting for her to solve. And also like, what is the manager like? Because she said it's one of the most important aspects in the technology industry is like who your manager is. Are they invested in you and your career? And are they gonna help you grow? Cause that's like the whole point of like your tech lead or your manager is like, do they know you? And if they find a project, are they going to be like, oh, you would be good for this project and things like that to try to build you up in your career. And she did say that at Facebook, you start off in L3 at like, that's the first level. And then there's L4 and L5. And then at L5, it's like terminal stage or whatever, before you decide, I guess, do you want to be an individual contributor or do you want to go the managerial route? And you can go back and forth or I know you can, but it's probably like harder to go back and forth. And also like for her, the work-life balance is most important. So she said, if you ask a team member on that team, what their work-life balance is like, and they say, oh, it's not so bad, or they, they're they trying to fix it, then she's like, that is a red flag and do not do that. Or like, do not work at that team. Like for, at least for her, in her case, she doesn't like that. She wants to like start the day at nine and at five, that kind of thing, which I respect definitely makes sense. Yeah, so that was really cool to meet her and talk to her and like hear similarities between her experience and my experience as well because I've had like a few internships so I can see the different things and I told her about some of the things I look for in like working on a team. I think Facebook is pretty cool too and like it was interesting to see someone who is interested in like math and machine learning and like how they are like taking the path of software engineering. The networking session was so nice, so wholesome, everyone was so sweet in it and we were just talking about like ice skating and boba and everything was so cute and then the lady was so nice, like Emily, who was running it, she was just like the best and yeah, I followed her on Twitter. <laughs> Time for day two and starting with the career fair, so fun. These are the company that they have. I'm interested. Probably seeing what change trade is about. Oh man, Hudson River Trading. All these trading companies. I don't know what any scale is or what SIG is. All these trading companies. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I'm going to try to attend these different Zoom links. So this afternoon, I got to attend four different job fair sessions. And it was really cool because there were so many like quant firms and like trading firms. It was really interesting. I never pictured myself like considering working at one of those but now that i've heard about them so much like today i'm like wow maybe i, I should really apply for these because it sounds like all the things that i actually like in computer science and i'm like why didn't i ever think about this before and i really do love finance and like investing so this is like a win-win for me so and i initially talked to jane street as the first company and they talked about like even what is uh, quantitative trading and like what do they do so they they try to make sure of two things. So they provide liquidity, so more participants in the market, which allows for more trading to happen. They said that they all, like when there's more participants in the market, then the price actually becomes more accurate. Yeah, they talked about what they're looking for in like SWEs, like software engineers. And it's just basically like not really a certain language and just like majority of their work is actually done in this functional programming language called OCaml. But they said you don't need to know it because they have a bootcamp when you start up working at Jane Street. 
And yeah, they just said like knowing your foundational skills and that kind of stuff. Then we, I talked to people from IMC Trading and there was a software engineer there and she talked about what it's like working there and she said there's it goes from the hardware and like there are people who work on the hardware and then there's two types of software engineers basically there. So there's people who work on execution, so it's the speed and then people who work on strategy like her. So that's more for figuring out what is like the price of this trade should be, like what is the worth of it. I asked her like, um, what are the different like roles for the different cities that they have because they have Chicago, Sydney, and Amsterdam. And she said it's basically for each office it trades in that specific area. So Chicago is US, Amsterdam is Europe, and Sydney is for Asia. And she said that uh, there are all the different engineers there. And it just, the difference is because it's like the different uh, ex trading exchanges. And she said sometimes you might work like, on a global project and you might have to like travel to the different offices and help them set it up as well. So that's pretty cool. And then lastly, I talked to representatives from HRT, so Hudson River Trading. And it's actually really cool. I like them the most, to be honest. And they had three software engineers there who are all women and they were super cool. So one of them, she's a core developer who works on low level C and C++ code that helps them with trading. The other was the operations developer that monitors the live trading environment and she works in Python. And then I was actually in a breakout room with her and she was really cool. And then the third one was on the systems team that owns all of the servers and networking equipment and she works with Linux a lot. And they also said that their culture is very collaborative so they work with a lot of teams and they're not very siloed, which I really, really am like happy about like to know that. And they talked a lot about like the things you would need to know for interviews. And I took lots of notes on all this kind of stuff so you can check out my notes in the description. And it's really cool. And it's just like, this is a really cool opportunity to meet all these companies. I never thought that I would be interested in trading, but now I'm pretty interested. So I got to apply for new grad roles and get some good projects on my resume for low latency coding, basically in performance. Also, HRT just sent an email with all the links to their full-time internship opportunities. And thank you gifts. So they set up a virtual store and they sent us an Uber Eats voucher. Yes, yes. so nice. So I had to email the recruiter lady from HRT and be like, hey, thanks for everything for the career fair, but the form you sent to sign up for events coming up for HRT, it lists all these fancy American universities and the one Canadian university, University of Waterloo, and I don't go to any of those. So can you please add an other section? Because yeah, I'm, I'm other. I, I don't go to a fancy school. So yeah, hopefully she does that. The conference is done. It was so much fun. It was so well organized. And thank you to all the Harvard Week Code people. It was so great. And to all the speakers, mentors, everybody that I met, and also the attendees. So, yeah, if you want to look at my notes, I left them in the description below. I hope they help you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.